Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and I am Reed and this is Reed's Beauty Trip. Oh, some kind of day now that I'm having. So this um, project is a little different. <clears throat> I um, chat with a group um, of ladies that are into books and beauty. And Amanda D and Brandy have um, channels where they do live interaction with us where we discuss books and we discuss beauty and, and things like that. And Flora Lisa has actually helped them with this also. So, but there's a few of us in this group that um, on Thursday nights, like I said, there's a live chat, chat on YouTube. Brandy and Amanda take turns in doing this. But yesterday I was at work actually chatting with Brandy, who's um, becoming a really dear friend of mine. We discuss books, we discuss makeup, we discuss life. Um, and it hit me that doing an extra step, um, both of us are really working on panning and the lady, other ladies that are doing this are also working on panning, but to kind of implement it and to give me another go and anyone is welcome to join this. So the, the, the perspective of this pan is while I am reading a book, I assign a beauty product to that book. Mm. So say I have four books that I'm planning to read for the month of January. I have four makeup or four beauty or makeup items assigned to this. We're going to call this um, beauty in the books. This is my project pan. Um, I talked to Brandy. Um, it's a small project. So like I said, she can assign it and do it too. Um, she is getting ready to move. So I know her life is getting hectic. I invite any of the other ladies, Amanda, Lori, Kana, any of them to do this. Something fun, something different. Just, you know, we are passionate about our makeup products. We're passionate about our books that we like to read. So let me get started. So I'm about halfway through this book. This is called Flamebound by Tessa Adams. This is book two in the Lone Star Witch novel. The first one was Soulbound. I really like the book. I somehow put off reading this and put it back and I was going through my books and I'm like I haven't read this yet this is the second book in the series so the second book in the series is called Flamebound and I really like this series and stuff but since it was Flamebound what I chose was the well here come the girls the Rimmel Stay Matte and this one is called Firestarter so It is a beautiful red and stuff like that. And so while I'm reading this book, this will be in my um, stuff to use up. When I'm done with the book, I will give you up. I will give the status on where this is at. So that's my first one. The second one is a book that we chose as a group to read. So we chose the book Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. So I am only about 20 pages in, which I need to get going. I just have it. So for this one, I chose the Arrow Boost Lip Balm. And the reason I chose it is because it looks purple. And she has things that she says, but what's going on in her mind is totally different. And then it's got the pH balance. So it looks purple. It goes on. It turns pink. So how what what it is on the outside isn't what's going on in, on the inside. So that's why I chose this to go with this one. Now two books I haven't started but they are planned for. Well no, I have started the other one. There's one more that I started. Um, and I need to get back to reading it and I've kind of put it off and it is the Romanoff Sisters. So not just about Anastasia, but the sisters. So, you know, it's the, the daughters of Nicholas and Alexandra. And it's a biography. Um, it's really good. I don't know why. I think just busyness, craziness, I'm about. I'm on chapter two. So I've only read chapter one. And it's kind of like the lineage and stuff like that. But for that one, I chose the eyeshadow palette pure be your selfie 
just it's like very royal looking um to me the names of it pure natural charming alluring strong confident gorgeous to me that is the romanoff sisters they were just that type and to me and like i said i'll be probably using this palette for a while because i haven't gotten that far in this book <laughs> and it's a thick book now the other one that i put in my fourth book for the month of january is by rachel vincent it's the third book in this, the wildcat series called wild card now this book i anything rachel vincent writes i read <laughs> Um, I love her writing. I love her teen series. I love her sci-fi series. I like her romance series. Pretty much, it's really good. So, I really like this stuff, so I'm really big on reading it. And anything that comes out of it. Somehow I missed when this one came out, and then I saw that it was out, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this book. So what I chose was the Katie Cat Gloss by Katy Perry Cover Girl in pounds, because they are cat shifters is a purple I actually have it on my lips but it I like my lilac by L'Oreal better but I really need to use this one up so like I said it's a lavender but I will be trying to wear this putting this on when I can when I while I'm reading this book so as long as this book is in mine it's these will be in my projects. So that is the plan for those. Um, kind of like a low down. So I am reading this one, like I said. This is, I keep trying to break something. Um, flame my own. So this is about witchcraft and stuff. Um, if you read the series, she is a latent witch, 20 some years old, and no powers of any kind. Even though her mother is like the seventh daughter, she is the seventh daughter of the seventh daughter, so she's supposed to be this all-powerful witch. And she is cursed or soul-bound, in the first book, she's soul-bound to a wizard who is a darker, dark magic, um, feared by a lot. And where the, the witches bound her soul to his, to, like, if he killed basically the queen's daughter, the princess, um... It would, because it's supposed to weaken him, his powers being bound to this child and such. She grows up and stuff like that. And in Flamebound, they are, they are a couple. He may be 300 plus years old. She's 20 some. But figuring out who they are, what they're doing, dealing with her powers coming to fruition. Um, she has a very horrible power that it, it hurts her which hurts him. He has become very attached to her. He knows that she's very, very important to, um, she's very important to him. And things are happening where they're getting blamed for it, these murders, and where it's not. And she's still figuring out her relationship with him, if he is getting better or he's going down a dark path. So, that's the one I am reading that's really good. This one is about the shifters, where um, female cat shifters are very, very rare. Like, one in 20 or one in 100 is a female. Like, there's seven or eight um, females shifters, while there's hundreds of males. Um, and usually, cat shifters are all born through... Um, having two parents that are both shifters and um, men can be made into feral cats well the, what they call feral cats and stuff like that made into shifters but females aren't there are a couple females that were turned into um, and they're called tabbies um, they're very treasured but they're also kind of treated second class in that so this crew the wildcats um, series is kind of the independence. Um, if you're interested in the series, I definitely recommend reading the first series called Stray. I think it's called Strays. And that's the, where, I mean, she's dealing, it's the original Shifter series. And, um, 
And the first one's called Strays. It's really here. It's in the back. Of course it's in the back. Um, yeah, Shifters is the original series. And the first one's Stray. And I totally recommend that. And there's six books in that series. I could not put those down. Those are all. Then there's the Wildcats that go with this one. But then there are other ones. The Soul Screamers for young adults. Um, Menagerie. The Star Never Rises. Brave New Girl is a new one that I am. And then, um, and that's young adult. Um, that's on my list to read. And then there's also The Hundred Hours, which is young adult. And I haven't, I need to look into that one too. I haven't yet. So those are the books and those are the beauty projects. Like I said, the products are only in to be panned, to be worked on. So it's kind of like a peeping pen in a sense, as long as I'm reading that book that's assigned to that beauty project. So if you like this or interested in it, just let me know. Um, like I said, it was something I, I did tell Brandy I was thinking about this and she thought it was a fun idea to do. So, like I said, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.